Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today we're doing a whole house clean with me, meaning I will be covering every room in the house. To be honest, it's kind of a complete disaster. I've been putting this off for weeks now. I do quick tidies to keep up with the living areas and kitchen. However, the good old laundry has piled up high once again. Our linens need to be washed and changed. My room and closet are out of control. I will explain this later. My kids' rooms aren't terrible. They don't play in here anymore, but I am using this area to fold, so it needs a quick tidy. My office that you guys have not seen in a while needs to be cleaned. Lastly, the laundry room is so bad and dusty and also needs to be deep cleaned. If you enjoy motivational cleaning content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any more of my future uploads. Hey guys, I'm on camera. You guys know it has to be something important if I'm showing face. Hi everyone, thank you for coming back and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is in collaboration with my best friend here on YouTube, Candice. Candice is a full-time special needs teacher. She's also a wife and a mom of two adorable little boys. She does cleaning, organization, vlogs, hauls, uh, recipes, a bunch of stuff. Every time I watch her videos, I pick up new tips. She's the one that suggested the shark steam mop that I love. And she's just one of the most hilarious people that I have ever met. We talk every single day. We're always texting and laughing. If I'm having a bad day, I know I can text Candace and she will definitely make me laugh. This is like the third or fourth time that we've collaborated so far. And yeah, I really want to help her grow her channel because she's so passionate about it. Just like me, her videos are very similar to mine. And if you're coming over from Candace's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. I'm a stay at home mom of three and YouTuber. And if you like my videos, I would love for you to subscribe. With all that said, let's get back into the video. Bye. The night before I filmed this video, my sink was full of dishes. I didn't want to deal with it in the morning, so I just offloaded the dishwasher and loaded it back up. And then the next day, I would hand wash the things that were left over. I knew after we eat breakfast the next day, it would be full again. This is the next morning. The kids are eating breakfast. Amir likes to set out multiple plates and put fake food on them like he's having a feast. Then when he's done playing, I have to wash them all again. This is the current state of our kitchen. Still a mess, but not as much as the night before. The first thing I'm doing is clearing off the countertops a little, then wiping down the side of the countertop I'm placing clean dishes on while unloading the dishwasher. Then I'm putting away and semi-loading it back up. It wasn't full all the way and we'll eat throughout the day. I'm using a cleaning solution save for granite countertops. I didn't measure this time and I'm still tweaking it just like I did my vinegar mix until I got it right. I don't like going along by recipes because everyone prefers something different depending on how you clean. This is just water, castile soap, alcohol, and joy essential oil because that's all I had. Otherwise, my favorites are still lavender, peppermint, and lemongrass. Orange is nice too. Lemon to me is nauseating, but anyway, I planned to make this when I first moved in but kept forgetting castile soap. So now that my method for knit cleaner is done, I finally made my own and I like it so far.
I moved the kids' toys over to the coffee table so I can wipe down the counters and bar stools using the same solution. A few of the bar stools had crayon and pencil on them. For that, I used a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Then after, I went back over with a dry cloth to buff the bar stools and countertop. I'm doing the same thing on the other side of the countertops and cleaning the Keurig. I'm not using this on my glass top because I'm nervous about the alcohol in the solution. I used my Wayman cooktop cleaners for that and the microwave. I tried to draw a heart and the little bottle ran out. I was like, uh-uh, that is not gonna work. The small one came with a razor and scrubber that you'll see in a minute. I found this set on Amazon. The top of my fridge has been out of control for a long time now. Just recently, I put the kids' Valentine's Day treats up there, like from school and stuff, or else they'll eat all of the candy when I'm not looking. I try to do this secretly by putting it in a trash bag to conceal it, but Amir caught me and they came over for a piece of candy. At that point, I just couldn't say no. I had some things for the kitchen I haven't used in a while, full of dust as expected. I cleaned it, then only put back the first aid kit up there. The bag thrown on top is all of the girls' nail polishes. I just chucked it up there to keep it away from Emir. We don't use water from our fridge. I order spring water through a company that will deliver our water and take our empty five gallons to be reused. This still looks crusty and makes the fridge look bad after it's all shiny, so I clean it. I washed off the dusty things and letting them air dry. Now to get started on the living areas of the house. The kids have been playing inside, so any toys I see, I put them in that basket and dump them into the garage to be later sorted. So my new couch is from American Signature Furniture. It's called the Winston 4-piece sectional with chaise. It's sloppy right now, but it'll come together. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I purchased the left-facing chaise and I didn't like it, so I exchanged it for the right-facing chaise. I love it. This couch is so big and comfy. Exactly what I wanted. The kids and I can all fit and there's room for guests. Now I'm wiping the dining table with alcohol, then moving on to the bar cart. Right now there's just a few things on it, but you'll see how I decorated it at the end of the video. So pretty, I'm glad I decided to get one. It's from Wayfair, yeah Wayfair. It goes so well in this spot and matches with all of my decor perfectly.
I put those boxes by the door. I will later throw them in the recycling bin. I just wanted everything out of the way so I can surface clean. I'm using end dust for wood surfaces and the tops of the mirrors. For the glass, I'm using alcohol. And before I forget, our um, shoe consoles are from Ikea. It's called Stall. I get so many questions on these, so I wanted to say it again in this video. I'll also have that link below. This is two side by side. Also, the three mirrors are from Target. I didn't miss a spot over by the door. I don't use Mr. Clean Magic Erasers on the walls because it's flat paint. Noel is going to touch up paint. He actually already did, so that's why I'm not worried about the scuffs and there's a lot. We're also going to paint the baseboards. That will be in my spring cleaning video. I use the Amazing Whippet for some Nutella stains on my area rug. My rug is from Wayfair and the stain remover can be found on Amazon. Speaking of stains, that won't be a problem for this couch. The color is a blend. From far away, it looks grayish beige. Up close, it's taupe beige, a darker beige, gray, and black all woven together. Those are all the colors that work with my color palette. This was the only couch that I loved and I shopped around a lot in store and online. The couch covers are also washable. I was gonna go with a leather couch, but I couldn't settle on one that I really like, so I went with fabric. I was so ready to get this area clean so I can decorate it. Those cables will be covered by the end. They drive me crazy. Also, I'm putting in a sound bar so the sound quality is better when I listen to music while cleaning. The TV isn't bad, but when it gets to a certain volume, it's terrible. The bass is tragic. The bookshelf is getting redone in this video also. There are some crafts from decorating the kids' Valentine's Day boxes left out and snacks. I think Sultan put a juice box up there to keep it away from her brother. I decided to vacuum now because there's stuff all over the floor. After this, I'm headed into my room to take care of it, as well as deep cleaning my bathroom and organizing my closet.
this is where we're at right now now that it's clean i can start to see where i want things to go better i didn't want to stop and decorate because i still have a lot of cleaning to get done this video took me two days to film In my room, I'm going to dust this cubicle and put away any miscellaneous things that don't belong, change my sheets, make my bed, put away all of these clothes. I have a problem. When I'm getting ready, I go through so many outfits sometimes. Even if I pick out my clothes ahead, I always change a couple of times and just fling things around. I'm hiding the kids' candy under that throw blanket in my closet. Really disorganized in here. There's particles from the kids' Valentine's Day cards that I wrote for the class. I don't know why I chose to do that in here, but yeah, needs to be vacuumed. I'll tidy up my vanity and clean my makeup brushes, fold towels, and put my new duvet on. I'm deep cleaning my bathroom. Even though it doesn't look that bad, my shower doors are looking real cloudy. Since this is an extended cleaning video, I'm taking breaks from talking and you all can enjoy the music while I clean. If you're cleaning along with me, even better. I'm sure I chose some high energy songs to go over these parts. Also, if you like the music in my video, be sure to check the description because the songs are always linked.
Now we're in the bathroom. I found this silicone sponge at TJ Maxx along with another one that my son Amir claimed because he loves the texture. This one I'm using for makeup brushes and sponges. It usually takes me longer to get them clean because I just use my hands, but I've seen things like this before that stick to the sink that are made for cleaning makeup brushes, but this works the same in my opinion. It's meant for dishes. I could see how that would work and I may get another to use in the kitchen. It's way more sanitary than regular sponges. I ran it through the dishwasher and it was fine, so I'll keep you guys updated whether or not I make that switch and how it works. I'm out of a few cleaning products when I film this video. I don't have my 7th generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner. I'm using Castile solution and baking soda along with a scotch Bright scrubber sponge. I use Castile soap to do laundry after I ran out of detergent pods. I've been sleeping on Castile soap for a long time. I read the uses for it and there's a ton. I don't think I'll keep using it for laundry, maybe just for emergencies like the blue dish soap I've been using because why not? It's still dish soap. It doesn't have to be Mrs. Meyers. I like some of the scents like the seasonal scents and those are over so this will do. So
Now that the bathroom is clean, I'm vacuuming my room. Under my bed always looks like this if I don't clean it at least once a week. It's been like two months since I've cleaned under here. There's toys, crumbs, dust. Ugh, my house gets so dusty. I don't know why. And it's not the filter. The filter has been changed. We change it once a month. I don't know. I guess it's just the hard flooring. My floors always seem to be dusty. I could never keep up with them, but under my bed is just tragic. It always looks like this if I don't keep up with it. But yeah, in the apartment, I never really noticed that much dust. I guess it's it's probably the hard flooring, but I can't imagine how much dust was living in that rug, that carpet. Oh, I hate carpet. This is where I stopped filming. I ran out of cleaning cloths and had a ton of laundry to do. So that night I did a few loads to give myself a head start before filling the hallway with tons of sorted laundry for the next day. This is the next day, same shirt, different color. Um, I'm continuing with steam mopping the entire living areas and kitchen, so this whole side of the house is fully clean now. I can get to the other side of the house today.
You guys probably saw the old couches out at the back patio. Noel still has to come pick it up, but since then he has. It was such an eyesore. I did start putting out some decor that night. I couldn't wait. I'm still not done yet. You'll get a full result and tour by the end of the video. By the way, I'm loving my shark seam mop. Still haven't used my O-Cedar mop since I purchased this one. It's so much easier. And since my method squirt mop ran out, I find no reason to repurchase it as this one doesn't require solution. So I highly, highly recommend. I did get a lot of laundry clean last night. I just had towels and linens left. So I'm getting those out of the way and into the girls' room. It's a bit of a disaster. I have two loads of laundry to fold in here. I still have laundry going. My cleaning cloths are clean, but in the meantime, I'm going to fold all this laundry and start putting it away. I folded these off camera. I still have to make the girls beds and vacuum, but I want to get my laundry room deep cleaned. It's so dusty and annoying. Every time I'm in here, I sneeze from all the lingering lint. I need to put a basket in here for lint, but I keep forgetting. So I just toss it on the side of the dryer and keep it moving.
That ho 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 sign didn't fit in the bins I have in the garage for Christmas decor. The laundry sign I might hang on the outside of this store. It's a crazy Monday. I know it shows that I'm a little nervous. I put all of my towels away. I'm just showing you guys where they go. The messy basket under here is the kids stuff that we use in the morning when they get ready. I know that it looks really bad, but at this point it's not worth organizing anymore. I tried it and yeah, here's my cleaning cloths that go into my cleaning closet off the kitchen. Now back into the girls room to vacuum and make their beds before moving into my son's room to do the same thing in my office. Noel is here touching up the paint and talking to me. I told him he was going to make me all smiley in this part because he kept making me laugh. My hair is also a mess. Oh my god. But anyways, having someone here was really nice. I normally don't have anyone here while I'm filming. The kids are with their dad and I usually just talk to them. I've never had a friend over while filming before. Noel is with me a lot of the time now because he works with me and who better than my best friend? Seriously, we have so much fun together. Music, crazy loud banter, carrying through the house, good times. Thanks. In my office now, that's a complete mess. I can't stand when my office gets like this, but I'm a work from home mom of small kids, so this happens sometimes. I can't always get to it. I have a lot going on in my life, mom of three, creating and producing content, 
emails, which is how I handle the whole business side of things. I have to say on top of school assignments and special occasions and so on. I haven't even meal prepped in so long, y'all. I've been busy. The main thing I'm doing is putting things away and dusting. I don't dust my office very often. I don't show my office in videos, but since this is a whole house clean, I included it. Don't forget to watch until the very end for a tour. And that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. And don't forget to check out my girl Candace's cleaning video after you leave here. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video.